Hi my friends, today we model this object which everybody knows. It is a nutcracker, a simplified nutcracker to be used in our tutorial. It has two main characteristics. One is that it is adaptive. You see? This is an adaptive component. What component? Well, here we have three components. One, two, three. And uh, these two are identical. Only reverted, but identical. And the second important thing is that uh, this spring is curved. It is not uh, straight. Good. Let's try to do this. I don't model the two components of the nutcracker. One half is this one and the other one is placed in another position but the same part. You have here the drawing. You see that this is not a complicated object and you have enough practice to model it. The extrusion here has a, a taper angle of 3 degrees and you have to apply minus 3. That's all. And we start by creating the assembly. New standard millimeters IAM place nutcracker half place grounded at origin escape we select another view this one is in my drawing in my model so we place here set current viewers home with the fit to view option you don't see but you know this procedure now if I uh, change the view when you apply home you see uh, this position place the other half this one connect them constrain them by applying insert between this circle and this circle apply and you see that this is okay there is uh, an extension here to limit the possibility of uh, rotating when the spring is here good we have a good start now we go back to the drawing and we see a 10 degrees angle here which means that we can rotate uh, the mobile uh, part of our assembly at 20 degrees. Let's apply this angle to have a maximum for uh, placing the spring. Angle, first solution, this face with this face to be 20 degrees. Okay. Now we go to the spring. The spring must be created. It is a curved spring, so I 
place the name curved spring the template is taken from the metric tab and it is standard millimeters IPT ok and the new part is born this is the new part but we don't have access to the uh, nutcracker we need to have access here so we want to place in this environment that objects in order to be adaptive so we go to modify and we use copy object to select one two objects and to have here associative yes to be checked this option and then we select composite okay now in orange is the the assembly we want to have at our disposition in order to create the new part the new part must be placed in the in a plane the plane is in the middle of these two faces so i don't use mid plane between two planes because it's enough to select the first face and the second face and inventor knows to apply the mid plane here i project i create a sketch here yes to to create a new part you create a sketch first but i want to uh, notice that this is an adaptive we selected uh, the composite as an adaptive new part sketch I project here this internal circle this one and the other one here you see they are inside here and This is not inside. I erase the constraint and then the line. And I apply again project the bottom line. Now I create a new arc between the midpoints of these two new small lines yes I don't want to have uh, that lines as normal lines but construction lines so I change the statute I apply perpendicular because I can perpendicular of this end to this line this means that the tangent here is perpendicular on the line the same 
we apply at the other end. Yes, perpendicular. Finished sketch. I make this not visible because we have the sketch. Then we go to the to one end of the arc. We select this plane in order to create a line F5 to have the same view. We draw a line here starting from the end or the center of the circle of 3.5 to be in the middle between these two circles. Escape, finish sketch. Now we apply sweep, but not as a solid, but as a surface. Why? Because we don't have a closed area here, closed contour. We have a simply a simple line. Then we select the path and we have a surface between these two faces uh, because uh, the line is uh, sweeping the path. We apply twist of 360 multiplied by 16 so that we have a new surface, a very interesting one. Okay, you see, this is what we have now. Good. We go further by creating uh, the spring itself. We'll use this edge and we start by creating an end work plane as you can see to have space for a circle. So I have to project the end point because I cannot have an access to it and the position is this. You see the point. I use the point to create a circle 1.2 millimeters. Finish sketch and again sweep. The closed area is uh, selected already and I'm on selecting the path and we have the spring as a body. We don't want to see this plane visibility. We don't want to see the surface and also the composite. This is the part and this is uh, the assembly, yes? We go back to assembly and we have 
that spring placed in position between the two uh, pockets. As you remember, we created an angle of 20 degrees. If we change the value of this angle to, say, 16, we obtain another position of the mobile arm and the spring is modified. Our uh, room is till we have this two ends in contact. Let's apply another angle, and I want you to look here at the modification of the spring when I apply Enter. You see? Good. So, we have here two new elements. Adaptivity and the curved spring as a result. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.